once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We've got another update on Halo Heroes Series 16. This is a story I just like to follow so much. It shows a great developer interaction with the community from Mega Constructs. But first we're going to start with an update from a video I made yesterday on the best Christmas Halo toy deals on the internet. And in that video I scoured the web to find the best prices on Halo merch. Interestingly on Target I found that the Covenant Needler was finally available for $60. And in that time, in that 24 hours, it's already gone on sale. So it's now $42 from Target. That's a really great price. I was waiting until it dropped to something like this. So I'm going to pick this up right away. And I hope you guys do too. This is actually like probably the best price you'll see this needler in its lifetime. For almost a thousand pieces, I'd say that's a good deal. Now let's get back to the topic at hand, the Haunted Helmet. Mega Constructs has released another detailed look at this figure. Now a full 360 prototype, we can see a lot more of the details that are going into this and it's got me very excited. Like this is actually going to be one of the most highly detailed figures we've ever seen and they've clearly spared no expense, especially with that transparent visor to show exactly the nightmare below the helmet. So let me get you up to date if you're new to this kind of content. The company Mega Constructs earlier this year ran a poll where you could vote between four different characters to make one of them into a new Halo Heroes figure. So we voted, the whole community did, thousands and thousands of people, and we could choose one of these four characters to make it into a new toy line. We had a Flood Combat form, Halo 3 CQB, Haunted Helmet, and Thrall Slayer. Uh, you know, it's obvious who won at this point, it's the Haunted Helmet. I always say hashtag justice for Thrall Slayer, man. I really wish that Halo Wars monkey had won, but at the end of the day we did end up with something very special here. A couple of months ago Mega shared on their official Instagram a sketch design of the new haunted helmet. This was you know only a base sketch so there was a lot of interpretation as to what direction this could go but they confirmed it would be the breacher chest, a new visor and integrated skull into the helmet. Like we were we were excited from the very beginning when they showed this okay and again I, I have an outcry to Mega to make more of these sketches to be more interactive with the community. Fast forward to present day, we've got this really nice 3D render, and this is pretty much going to be, you know, exactly as it turns out. I'm surprised. It does seem like they've lost one of the shoulders, but it might be too early to tell. This might just be a base design. And you can also see the brown highlighted is all of the new sculpting. Clearly, the back plate on this figure is not going to be new, but I don't mind that at all. It doesn't need to be. And we've got a really nice shoulder there. The helmet. I mean, that skull. Honestly, that skull skull looks exceptional. I know there's a lot of pressure on with Mega at this point. They want to make a really good figure because this has been talked about in the community for months and months and months. Look at that helmet. Look at that just skull underneath. That nose especially looks really realistic. Then we've got the breacher chest. It's got that nice kukri knife. No, that those are never removable, but it still looks really great. And some nice bullet casings on the front of the chest there. I'm a big fan of this breacher. And then we've also got the shoulder. This is a EVA shoulder from Halo Reach and you know we've seen this a lot of times before but it's an appropriate one. Developed by the UNSC's low zero gravity testing facility on Gan Ganymede. Ganymede. The EVA shoulders. Very nice. And we also see the EVA shoulders you know historically or famously on George. He has it on his right shoulder. So really dope to see that you know they've taken some inspiration there and Reach is all about swapping out shoulders and having the most offensively large shoulders possible, so I'm really happy they went with this one. All in all, fellas, I mean, this, it looks outstanding, right? Like, I'm not the only one here. This looks really, really cool. So I would love to know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this mold. On the whole design, is there something you wish they would have added? I know the community will probably say, where are the flame effects on this helmet? From a design perspective, that is quite difficult to do, and I'm sure they're going to want to reuse this pilot helmet as, like, a full mold without the haunted helmet in the future. Like, the the fact that the haunted uh, sort of skull is underneath there means they can just completely glass over that visor and have it as a normal pilot helmet. So certainly they'll want to use that new mold in the future. And Halo Heroes Series 16 has been a largely contested subject recently. I made a video predicting what I think the rest of Series 16 will look like. And Mega, if you're watching this, I do ask you to please increase the figure count back to six, man. Like it's been a couple of series. I really hope it goes back to six. My first prediction was Spartan. And a green 
Athena. You know, she is the main voice in your head during Halo Infinite, and she leads you through the tutorial, so I think she's a safe bet, you know, to be added to the roster. And then I also think ODST Hudson from Fireteam Raven. He's the last of Fireteam Raven. I actually think he's the only one that I guarantee will be in this set, especially the fact that they just released another one in Series 15, and it's his time to shine. Then Rates Venom came out in the 20th anniversary pack. I just think they're going to reuse that mold and make a more highly detailed one in Halo Heroes. It would be a pretty cool thing to see, especially when you consider how many people have not been able to get hold of the 20th anniversary pack. A brute honor guard is just something that I think works on every level. You know, we have a Halo 2 brute coming out in the Halo Universe series right now, so I think it's the right time to bring this in. And then the big bad monkey Atriox. This is not particularly the figure I want, but I think it's just about time, especially his importance in the general lore of Halo Infinite and beyond. But the only figure we know for certain right now is this haunted helmet. And I gotta say, I was uh, a little bit wavy at first, but now I'm very happy he's being added to the roster. I also wanted to shout out this Halo original EP vinyl record. This is going to be a serious collectible in the future. It's something that, you know, I wanted to include in my Christmas list, but I didn't find the right place for it. Uh, here I want to talk about it, right? This is a gorgeous collectible vinyl record of a lot of the best tracks from the Halo Infinite soundtrack. These songs are so good. Like, I've been listening to the Halo Infinite soundtrack very slowly, very contently, you know, every single track is just a 10 out of 10 from me. This collectible doesn't ship till June of next year, but it's already sold out in color form. Black and white's the only one left. So if you want to grab this, I would grab it right now. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. Growth on this YouTube channel has been really wild. We've gained 800 subs in just a week, and I want to welcome everybody to the channel that's brand new. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you want to do anything today, just make sure to like this video and comment down below. It really does help the growth of my channel in general. Let me know in the comments down below if you are hyped for the Haunted Helmet, what you would have done differently in the molding, in the whole design choice, really. I want to know everything about Halo Hero Series 16. You have a great day, you stay awesome, you stay safe, everyone, and the domain is signing off. Stick it with this channel for all your Halo collecting news.